We got a shiner right here. This is Prime. Hey, Prime, say hi to the camera. Listen, just hold it still and he'll come up and eat it. <laughs> and that is just one of the massive aquariums that we have at the Raw Fam. <laughs> oh my god. But unlike the Mega Pond, this pond right here is actually missing a massive pond monster. And I know exactly the fish for the job. Uh, Big Bro, are you talking about the koi fish? No, little bro, not the koi fish. Oh, the arowana. No, not the arowana either. The what fish are you talking about? Wh why don't you just let me explain? Over the last couple of videos, we've been trying to catch this massive pond monster. We even made a Nerf crossbow. That failed. We tried an RC truck. Yeah, that didn't end much better. The fish we're targeting is a catfish. Oh, look at it. What is that? What is that thing? What is that? Bro, I told you there was pond monsters. You know what else is crazy? We even tried this. <sighs> what amateurs. Today we're gonna be catching that massive pond monster, but not just anyway. We're building a fish trap. Wait, but big bro, what type of fish trap are we making? Oh, this one, little bro. We're gonna put a hole right there, then we're gonna bait the trap, and hopefully the fish swims right into it. Little bro, little, little bro, where are you at? <gasps> oh my gosh, I was seeing stars. Oh, is this the fish trap? Oh, I... never mind. I'll see you at the raw fam. So this right here is our massive fish trap, but honestly, it's just two trash cans. It's time to turn both of these trash cans into a massive fish trap. Wait, but big bro, how the heck are you gonna do that again? Little bro, not this again. Take your trash can, flip it over. You're gonna grab a drill and start making pilot holes. Next, you wanna get a bunch of nuts and bolts from Lowe's. These are M10s. And I'm gonna pre-cut all of them first to save time. And this is the bolt, this is the nut. Push it in, just like that. Push it together. Ugh. That's not going nowhere. As you guys can see, our fish trap ugh, is now put together. It's cut a hole right there, bait the trap, and we're ready to fish. It's already pretty much outlined for us. <laughs> huh. It does look a little small, no? I say we widen the trap just a little bit bigger here. I think we're pretty good to go. All right guys, so now that our fish trap is almost done, our hole is perfect right there. And this is my idea to make sure that they don't get back out. All right, just like that. Cut it right there. Double lap it over itself. That is so perfect. We could actually make the hole even bigger. You see this right here? We're basically making an artificial fish cave right here that it may take a week, but those fish will go into it. Whether or not it's gonna take an hour or five days, I really couldn't tell you, but it will work. Now these are just gonna be little flaps. This will go up. We're just gonna try and make it harder to where he can't find his way out. <laughs> Boom, now we're set up to fish. So this right here is our completed fish trap you know, to try and catch that massive pond monster that we've been after for the last month or two. We know where the fish is, we know how big he is, so we made the perfect fish trap to go off and catch him. Hopefully today. All right, perfect. Let's go put this fish trap in the water and hopefully catch a new epic pond monster. All right, guys, so we just got over to the spot. We have our fish trap right here. I could easily lower this down and set the trap, but Honestly, guys, I had a rotting snakehead in the back of my truck. I don't even need to really try too hard. Cut it into actual size pieces. So let's throw the snakehead in the trap, just like that. And I guess the rest of this little booger is probably just gonna go to the alligators. I think it's gonna be lunchtime for a big old alligator, just to see if he's here. Come on. Oh, look at this. Look, there's a, there's a turtle under us. Look, zoom in. There's a big old turtle right here. All right, just rip this in half. Come here. Come on. Get him. <laughs> you see that? It's pretty sick. This is the spot they come up. So we actually just sunk this fish trap all the way down to the bottom. You guys look, you can barely even see the fish trap anymore. Tie that bad boy up right there. I'm gonna double knot it just for fun. We're actually going to let this fish trap sit for about 15 hours. We're gonna let it go overnight. But of course guys, we got other stuff to do right now. So it's, it's kind of chilly, but over there. Ooh, all right guys, so. We just got this massive box of lettuce right here. We gotta get back to the Raw Fam and feed all of the beautiful tortoises, AKA my gang of squirtles. All right, let's get out of here. So we have a bunch of lettuce right here. Come on, we're gonna go feed the tortoises. He's hungry. 
All right, let's go check on that big old trap. So this is the next morning. I came here last night in the middle of the night, by the way, and I checked the trap. Um, there was nothing in it. I did see the turtle, the gar, the tilapia, a bunch of different animals were checking out the trap, but I looked in it, there was nothing inside of it, but it's really hard to tell. Okay, okay, okay. We need to take it this way. I'm not gonna be able to lift this by myself, by the way. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, trap's breaking, trap's breaking, trap's breaking. I need the head, I need the head. Oh, he's getting out, I see him. He's getting out. Oh, crap, I broke the trap. I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna have to set down the camera. You have to. No, like, there's no option. If he gets out, listen, if he gets out, we're screwed. This is hard. Hold on, hold on to this ring. Hold, hold it up tight, just like that. Uh, oh, it's a thousand pounds of freaking water. Wait, you see him? Hold yeah, on, yeah. See him? Let me get the camera. I don't think the camera will be able to see, it's too dark. I just see the little red thing. Look, see his red tail down there? Can, can you guys see that? See his red tail? Right right there, right oh, there. Yeah. Okay, put the camera down, like I said. You gotta you got put the camera down. We're gonna have to take him this way. Set it up on my croc. I, just make sure you pass me my other croc so I could get in the water. Because we're about to get him. Look, we freaking caught him. You see him down there? The red, the red? Yeah. I tried picking it up, the freaking trap broke. Oh wait, maybe I could dump some out? I don't know, I don't know. Wanna... Well that's good probably. Yeah. I don't put it like all the way in. Let's that. see if I could drain some of the water. Oh, like what that. if I hold it here and hold it there? Wait, Dolly, ready? Oh yeah, on three. One. Wait, can, can, can you grab the camera for us? Hey guys, sorry. We, I was not ready for this and this thing is way too heavy. You just pick it up. Perfect, ready? Three, two, oh! Oh, it's gonna break, it's gonna break, it's gonna break. It's gonna break, it's gonna down there. Woo! It has to be in there, it has to be in there. You good, bud? You good? Oh, he's right here, he's literally right here. Come on. Ow. Ow. He's gonna freak out, he's gonna freak out. Ow, ow, he's biting me. Ow, he's biting me. Come on, come on, bud. Don't rip yourself up. Oh, I got him. Yes! Yes, let's go. Let's freaking go. That is so sick. So this is our beautiful brand new red tail catfish tank. He is lively because we never caught him on a fishing rod in real, so he's not tired out. He's just ready to rock. So this is full of energy. This is how you know he was not caught on rod in real because he's still going. We call this being green. So <laughs> this is our brand new red tail catfish tank and he is ready to go. So this is gonna be the first predator that we are adding to the predator pond, and we caught him in a fish trap right here. He is, oh, he's bleeding. Uh-oh, 28 inch red tail. All right, let's do this. Open it, put him in there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy, live. Live, buddy, live. Let's freaking go! Give me some. That is freaking cool. So this is actually not the first red tail catfish I've ever caught, but definitely the biggest red tail I've ever caught in a fish trap. This is definitely the pond monster that we need to put inside of the predator pond. And this is just gonna kickstart everything. We're gonna start going off, making these fish traps. Anywhere we see an aquarium fish, we're gonna go snatch that thing and put it right in the predator pond. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the predator pond right there. Let me see this guy. Woo, come right here. Look at him. Hi, booger. <laughs> He's really cute. So we're gonna be taking this guy over to the predator pond. But honestly, guys, there's just one thing I gotta do first. And honestly, it starts with this little cap. Come here, I'm gonna do a magic trick. You see the water? Come right here, see the water? All right, I'm gonna change the water a different color. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Look, get in there, get in there, bro. That is all different colors. We're doing the initial treatment right now. I'm gonna throw them in, in a couple days, we'll treat the entire ecosystem. It's getting super dark right here because it's reacting to the biomass that's actually inside the water column right here. If you gave this thing an hour, it would start turning brown. See the black on the back of her tail? That's the chemical reacting to her body.
Nice. I think that was the perfect treatment. Because now, where her tail got all messed up and everything, no bacteria is gonna be able to grow there for a couple days. She's gonna be good to go. Welcome to your new pond. This red tail's name is Tank. Let's go, Raw Fam. Let's freaking go. All right, Raw Fam. So, we're going to do a quick tour of the Raw Fam, update you guys on all of the animals that we have here. This right here is actually the Predator Pond. Hey, Big Bro, what's the Predator Pond? Honestly, little bro, the Predator Pond just stands for a bunch of massive predators from all around the world, all in one pond. Right now, we have a largemouth bass named Baby Jaws that is almost the size of real jaws. We have a bunch of tarpon. We just put in our first massive red tail catfish. And honestly, we have two really, really freaking cool koi fish. Oh, cool. Wait, what's this? Oh, this one right here, little bro. This is a system that is still cycling, but this right here is my Japanese koi fish koi pond. Soon, we're going to be actually importing a bunch of massive Japanese koi fish from Japan to actually put inside of here. We're gonna be salting these guys, and honestly, we're gonna be selling them too. Oh, sounds cool. Wait, where can we buy them? Honestly, little bro, the koi fish are not for sale just yet on the website, but everything will be updated soon. For now, you can go to rawfishing.com and actually get all of the merch that you see in the videos. Oh, sounds cool, but wait, what the heck's in here? Oh, yo, yo, what, what are you doing, what are you doing? Don't disturb the wild squirtles. Come on, bro, we gotta plant this plant. Come on, get over here. 